ready to slay his son, Yitzchak. And it says in verse 14, and I may teach on that next week, depending on what mood I'm in. I'm coming to understand some incredible things about the Akedah. It's called Akedat Yitzchak. In, in Hebraic understanding, it's called the Akedah, the Akedah, or the binding of Isaac. Now, there are some people, in, in, in especially in, in the church and Judaism, who say he wasn't killed. Others say, well, he was killed. Others say, well, he wasn't killed. It was a type. Others say, no, he was killed. Others say, no, he wasn't killed. It was a picture. Other people say, no. You always show me something, and I don't know if I'm ready. So if I don't know if I'm ready, you may not get this that quick. Because if, if this doesn't come out right when I give it, it will definitely be considered heresy. Get ready, get ready, get ready. <laughs> All right, so let me get this straight with Yahweh, but, but it may be next week. All right, where I can show you Isaac never would never die. Okay? And, uh, oh, holy mackerel. <laughs> so I'm not ready. You know Rivka's prayer for her husband then? Her <laughs> prayer is, Yahweh, I know you love him. I know he's your servant. I know he's your prophet. I know he's, he preaches truth in the latter days, and I know that. But I'm just praying that one day he doesn't go out into left field and never come back. <laughs> <laughs> That too. <laughs> 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 he goes, I don't mind the revelation part, but Father, please, I don't want him to go out and left field, left out, and never come back. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Amen. Baruch Hashem. Thank you. Look at verse 14. Abraham call the name of the place Yahweh Yileh. Oh, wait a second. First he, he, first he built an altar calling on Yahweh. Then he called Mount Moriah the place Yahweh Yireh. Yahweh will provide, or more literally, Yireh Lirot in Hebrew to see. It's not Jehovah Jireh. That's church nonsense. In the Hebrew it is Yahweh will see See what? He will see through the salvation of man on this mountain. He'll see it through. He'll push it through. On this mountain, the salvation of Yahweh shall be seen. Yahweh Yireh doesn't mean Jehovah Jireh. It means Yahweh will see. See what? Now jump down. You'll see it right here in verse 8. Go back to verse 8. Yitzchak says, Abba! 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 Here's the, here is the the, the, th the wood and this and this, uh, the wood is here, the knife is here, the Hallelujah. binding is here, the cords are here, but where is the Ola? The Ola, the burnt offering. Abraham said, my son, Elohim will provide himself the lamb. In Hebrew, it literally means Elohim will provide himself as the lamb. On this spot, Yahweh's salvation will be seen. Oh. On this spot, Yahweh's deliverance will be seen. On this spot, Golgotha will come to pass. On this spot, Calvary will become a reality. On this spot, the blood of Yeshua will be spilled. On this spot, the Ark of the Covenant will be hidden underneath the Temple Mount, and the blood of Yeshua will fall on the mercy seat after Jeremiah buries the Ark some 500 years before Yeshua was ever born. On that mountain, Solomon's temple would be built. On that mountain, Zerubbabel's temple would be built. On that mountain would be the dwelling place of the Kadosh HaKoshim, the Holy of Holies. And on this spot, Yahweh will come in the flesh and provide himself as the Lamb. He won't send another. He won't send a substitute. He won't send a system of words. Yahweh will provide himself as the Lamb. Where? Here. In this place, Yahweh will be seen as the Lamb. He won't be seen as some deity in the cosmic heavens. In this place, Yahweh will show up as he provides himself as the ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate Lamb. Yahweh, you yeah. But wait a second. If, Yah if Abraham named the place Yahweh, you yeah, he had to know the name of Yahweh. Yahweh. You can't name an altar, Yahweh. You can't name a mountain, Yahweh, without calling, knowing, and understanding the name of the one who has called him to sacrifice and bind his son Isaac. And I'll show you next week or the week after or one of these weeks when I get my act straight <laughs> that I don't believe Isaac died. 
And I know that they don't teach that in Judaism, they don't teach that in Christianity, but I'm not here to get my marching orders from the That's religious right. seminaries. Amen. I'm here to get my marching orders from the king, the master, Yahweh Sabaoth. It is he and he alone. I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the Lamb. I pledge allegiance to the Lamb and the Lamb alone. Yahweh will provide himself a lamb. Look at verse 14. Yahweh called the mountain. Yahweh provides. Abraham called Mount Moriah. Yahweh erects. Not only did Abraham call in the name of Yahweh at least three times. Listen. He even taught the father. This is going to blow you away. This is going to blow you away. Turn to your neighbor and say, you're about to get blown away. Blow me away. He wants the Arabs, the Arabs, the Edomites, the Ishmaelites to know his name too. How do I know? I want you to know what I know so that you can know and tell him what we all should know. Yahweh. Yahweh is no respecter of persons, Romans 2.11. He loves the sons of Ishmael and he wants to save them, wash them in the blood of Yeshua and make them politeia, members or citizens of the commonwealth of Israel. Not to replace and kill Jewish Israel, not to replace Christians and Jews and hate them into oblivion, but to love them and join them and become a chad, one in the body of Yeshua by the blood of the Lamb, somebody. I'm going to show you right now. Not only did Moses, was not Moses not the first to know the name, the father or the mama of the Arabs were destined. And they left Yahweh and wound up with Allah U Akbar. But in the beginning it was not so. Yahweh wants the sons of Edom to know his name. He, he's not a respecter of persons. Can you prove it? Yes, I can. Go with me to Beratius. Beratius. Thank you, sister. Beratius. 1613. Okay. The messenger of Yahweh, who is the Malach Yahweh in the, in the Tanakh? Yeshua, the Malach Yahweh, in the middle face of the three faces of Yahweh, Father, Son, and Spirit. Now three goats, now three personas independentos. Three faces of Echad, of the one, Yahweh. Beratius 16. And the messenger of Yahweh, which is who? Yeshua, the Malach Yahweh, said to whom? Who are we talking about? Chagar, not cigar, Chagar. All right, who's Chagar? How do we say that in, uh, in Texas? Hagar. 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 <laughs> okay, but in Hebrew it's Chagar, like Chaim. So Yeshua is talking to Chagar in, in, his, in his manifestation as Malach Yahweh. And he says to her, look, you're conceiving and bearing a son. And you shall call his name Yishmael. What does Yishmael mean? El will hear. Yishma. Shema. Shema. El will hear. So Yahweh wants the, the Arab peoples to hear his voice and know his name and make him part of Israel, not to kill Jews and replace Israel. Are you listening? Come on now. Now look at verse, look at verse 11. See, you are conceiving and bearing a son, and shall call his name Ishmael, because Yahweh has heard your affliction. And Ishmael, and then Edom, will be a wild man. His hand will be against everyone, everyone's hand against him. No kidding. Yeah. Dwelling over against all his brothers. Who's, no, stop, look at me. Who is, who is the Malach Yahweh speaking to? Hagar. Who is Hagar? The mother of Ishmael. Who is Ishmael? The father of Edom. Who are the Edomites? The fathers and the progenitors of the biological uh, antecedents of the modern Aravim. Arabs. Now look at verse 13. When she had met Yeshua, turn to your neighbor and say, met Yeshua. Met Yeshua. Try that again. Met Yeshua. When Hagar had met Yeshua, then she was introduced and she called on the name of Yahweh. Come on now. Hagar, the mama of the Ishmaelites, who became the Edomites, who became the Redomites, who became the Philistines, who became the arch enemy of Yaakov. Today we call them the Arabs or the Middle Eastern countries or the Middle Orient or whatever you want to call them. It was their destiny to do what their mother did, which was no respect, reverence, and call on the name of Yahweh. See, so when you come to Miami Beach, we're not, trying to, we're, not, we're not trying to get you into the Jewish thing. We're not trying to get you into the Jewish stuff. 
Because to be honest, if you're calling on the name of Yahweh, he's not a Jewish.